I would make sure that uh, you you have references or that you get references for the shop that you take them to. We really only cut one structure. So if you want like one of these chevron structures or one of these other structures, we can't do that for you. Mm -hmm. You have a question. Uh, in the grooves with the grooves in the board, how does that affect um, your speed? And how does it affect your speed? Well, it's a, it's breaking up that suction between the snow and, and the and the wet snow, right? And then how the chevron structures or crosshatch structures, I think they're largely preference. But once again, we're getting into this area of, I'm not a race tech, I'm a board engineer. I understand the basics of the science. There is some really good science out there on this. The US government used to have a, uh, uh, the U.S. military, the Army, up at Ski Cooper, and I'm trying to remember what they're called, they had a division of the Army. 10th Mountain? 10th Mountain Division. 10th Mountain Division, right? Cool. And so when you are the U.S. Army, and you want to make your, your soldiers perform their best, what do you think you do? You do a lot of R&D. So some of the best papers ever written on how a snowboard slides or a ski slides on snow were written by the U.S. Army. And if you were to email me, I could probably dig those out <laughs> somewhere because I have some of those papers on my computer, but it's been years since I've looked at Yeah, But yeah, 10th Mountain Division, there was a scientist that they, uh, that they hired who wrote some really top-notch articles and a 